Hi, and welcome to Online Storytime. My name is Lisa, and I am a Youth Services Librarian over at the Southdale Library. I have to tell you that we miss seeing all of your happy faces at the library, so hopefully we'll be able to see you again soon. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us. Um, we will be having more story times on our Facebook page, so keep looking for those. And uh, know that you can pause this recording at any time if you want to stop and um, talk about what whatever we're doing on the um, video with your child. Just know that you can do that. Um, we just miss you guys. So hopefully you're all doing well. Today we will be, of course, reading some stories. We'll be singing some songs. And if you do have any questions about any of the resources that are available to you, please let us know. You can chat with us on the video or you can go to our website and talk to us there. If you're finding that you are reading the same book over and over again with your child. Just know that it is a really good thing, even though it might drive caregivers crazy. Uh, so one thing you might try is have the child tell you the story instead. It's a really good skill for them to have and kind of fun. And if you are really looking for some new materials, know that you can go on our website and check out eBooks anytime. Please let us know again if you have any questions about how to do that. Uh, so let's get started. I have a song I want to sing with you, but one thing I want to tell you is that I am pretty new to playing the ukulele. Uh, I just learned last year, but it is a simple instrument to learn. I've never played a string instrument before. I stole it from my daughter. Um, so just know that it's something that you can learn from YouTube. Really simple and it's really fun. So if you have one laying around the house or if you want to order one online, I'd recommend it. It's super fun. So we're going to sing a song called I'm in the mood for singing, and it's something that you can adapt to any activity that you're doing. Um, just try to liven up the day a little bit. It's super simple. just to have some fun with it because the child won't care uh, all right first story since we have a uh, guest audience member is <laughs> called oh no George and I chose it because I like dogs just know that you can read to your pet if you have pets at home they will love it and they will just kind of hang out and read with you and listen it's kind of nice so you ready this is Puck <laughs> you ready for the story Pucky Oh No George. This is by Chris Houghton who writes really funny picture books so um, I highly recommend them. <clears throat> Harry is going out. Will you be good George? asks Harry. Yes, says George. I'll be very good. I hope I'll be good, George thinks. George sees something in the kitchen. It's cake. I said I'd be good, George thinks, but I love cake. What will George do? What do you think George will do? Oh no, George. All that cake. What has George seen now? It's cat. I said I'd be good, George thinks, but I love to play with cat. What will George do? Hmm. Oh no, George. Poor cat. 
what has George seen now? Some lovely dirt. I said I'd be good, George thinks, but I love to dig in the dirt. What will George do? Oh no, George. Harry is back. Hello, Harry. Great to see you. George, what have you done? You've ruined the place. And how on earth did you eat a whole cake? Mm. How do you think George is feeling? I said I'd be good, George thinks. I hoped I'd be good. But I wasn't. What will George do? I'm sorry, George says. I want to give you my favorite toy. Thank you, George, says Harry. Why don't we go out for a nice walk? Great! George loves to go out. There are so many things to see and do. Uh-oh. George has seen a cake. Will he eat it? No. George goes straight past. Well done, George. Is George being good? George sees some lovely dirt. Will he have a little dig? No. Well done, George. George doesn't even try to chase Cat. Even Cat is a bit surprised. Something smells very interesting. What can it be? It's a trash can. There's nothing George likes more than digging in trash. What will George do? George. What do you think George did? I hope he was a good dog. All right. Now it's time to do a little rhyme and we'll do it two times. <clears throat> it's called 10 Fat Peas. So if you have 10 fat peas, which I think you might, it goes like this. 10 fat peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and then all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Let's try that one again. 10 fat peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, then all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day the pod went pop. <laughs> He's not even faced. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> our next story, because I also think we need a little summertime right now, is called Jabari Jumps, and this is by Gaya Cornwall. Um, one of the things I like to do in story time is to read books by authors who might be different than I am. I always like learning about people who are different than me and finding out that, guess what? We have a lot more in common than I thought. Wow. Jabari jumps. Harry's getting dressed. I wonder what he's getting dressed for. <clears throat> I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the edge of the board as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge, they spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, 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 and then they dove down, 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 splash. Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. I remember my first time on the high dive. It was a little scary. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari 
thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and I tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary. It starts feeling like a little like a surprise. Jabari loves surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and he felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up. He began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. Do you think he's going to do it? His toes curled around the rough edge. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. <gasps> he took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees and he sprang up, off, off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. He Down, down, down he went, and then back up. Whoosh! I think Jabari feels pretty happy. What about you? Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next! Oh, I love that he jumped off the diving board. And I love that it's summer there. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Before we sing our last song, I just want to remind you to keep singing and reading and writing and talking with your kids um, as much as you can. We're all in this together, doing the best we can. Um, so we will have more story times on our Facebook page, so keep looking for those. Uh, we're going to sing the more we get together, and Pucky, you're going to have to hop up. We're going to have a guest signer, so if you guys don't know the signs for the more we get together, uh, this is Sophie, and she has taken some sign language, so she is going to um, help us out. We'll do it twice. The more we get together, together, Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you at the next one.